Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Gemini. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Gemini placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will all be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you some guidance for the week. Otherwise, here we go, Gemini. We are jumping right in. Your first card's out. Five of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Major Arcana, the Devil card, Capricorn Energy. The Empress, Taurus, and Libra energy could be important. The Moon, Major Arcana for Pisces or Cancer energy. And Judgment. Aish. Another Major Arcana. Three out of six Major Arcana for you this week, Gemini. Big, big, big things going on here. A lot of things you don't have control over. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. Boredom. Unhappiness. Not knowing which way to go, not knowing which path to choose. This could be your energy. This could be someone else's that you're connected to, friend, family member, lover. For a lot of you, it's some sort of um, work opportunity, really not with knowing which way to go as far as work, not knowing what path to take, maybe not knowing what industry to join or, you know, something you're trying to create stability for yourself here. Maybe that's a side message, but the Nine of Pentacles is all about stability and independence. So it's almost like having to choose between two jobs. Maybe the job that you are currently at is not satisfying. There's a sense that uh, you are not being fulfilled with the Four of Cups. This is also potentially an opportunity that can be missed. So if you have two options as far as work, you could be trying to choose between the two, trying to see which one's going to get you to this Nine of, Pe Nine of Pentacles. But it looks like the one that you're at anyway is not very uh, exciting to begin with. There is one offer in particular that is divinely gifted. It's, it's a, it's a uh, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity here. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are about to change. There's something destined that's about to happen here. Also could be some sort of cycle energy with this Two of Pentacles, something that keeps happening over and over again. Could be in a particular situation. If this is a person or a connection, relationship, friendship, lover, whoever. A lot of emotional instability. Uh, roller coaster, um, emotional roller coaster type of vibes. In your past position is the Five of Pentacles and the Empress card. Yeah, definitely some sort of lack here. Definitely some sort of lack. The Five of Pentacles could be a lack of um, funds. It could be, it, but it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's a perceived lack. It's not actually real. It's the perception of lack, whether it's lack in your finances, lack in um, uh, partnership, company, because it can also be a sense of loneliness, feeling left out, feeling like you're out on the outside looking in. But with the Empress here, those are very two polar opposites of vibes here. For some of you, this top row is one person that you're connected to, and this bottom row might be you with this Empress, this uh, Moon card, and uh, the Judgment. Somebody here is one person is really abundant, and the other person has a lack mentality. One person's a Debbie Downer, and one person believes in um, infinite possibilities. It's a toxic way of thinking that somebody has here. I do get it's something that someone that you're most likely connected to, and it could be around their finances, whether they're expressing this to you or not. There's a very deep um, negative mindset that it has in that they have in regards to finances or the ability to create financial stability and wealth. Yeah, someone's very much a Debbie Downer. <laughs> the Nine of Cups in reverse. That usually upright is a wish fulfillment. But in the reverse, this is like someone stomping their feet, being a bit bratty, not seeing the blessings. Very glass half full, um, empty as opposed to glass half full. Someone needs to change the way they're going about, um, the way they're perceiving their life. Because they are obviously creating this reality for themselves. You also have two fours here, four fours, all about protection. You could be being protected from this person, especially their energy. But I do get there's something that you're also not seeing about this person. With the moon card here, it's all about illusions. Things that are not being seen, things that are being hidden. Also a sense of fear. Definitely tying back to this lack mentality, because that's where it stems from. A fear. Choosing fear over um, hope. The Four of Swords is this is what needs to be healed. Somebody needs to heal their fear. They need to heal their lack mentality. They're a party pooper. In every aspect, in every shape or form. Very bratty, sort of wham, wham, whammy type of person I'm getting here. Especially with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups in reverse. For some of you, this is a family member. Could also be a bit of jealousy too, especially if you're showing up as the Empress, someone that is abundant, someone that seems as if everything just comes to them naturally and easily, like you don't have to do any work. Because, you know, the Empress, she's all about attracting. She's not with the chase the bag mentality. Because if you're chasing the bag, that implies that it's running from you. Right? 
with the devil card here and the judgment in your future position capricorn energy could be dealing with the capricorn but someone that just has a very very negative energy it's like they refuse to let go of this mindset they refuse to see that this is this mindset is what's keeping them in the five of pentacles four of cups it's not allowing them to get to the nine of cups um nine of pentacles wheel of fortune they could also be doing things very old school with this Eight of Pentacles, trading uh, time for money, which is not a bad thing to do. But I mean, you only got so much time. Right. But with the judgment card here, there is some sort of decision. There is some sort of um, decision that will be made here in regards to this person, I believe. And I don't think you I don't think you um, this two of Pentacles could also be this decision for you. Making a decision in regards to this person. Because it's like you love them, but they can't get out of their own way. Yeah, see, Queen of Cups, you have a lot of love for this person. Whoever this is for you, but they can't get out of their own way. And you cannot choose the way people choose to perceive themselves. Someone doesn't value themselves. They don't see their self as valuable. That's the core, the core of it. There's some self, there's um, some self-value issues that are going on here. That they can't seem to release, especially with this devil card. It's like it can't be released. And with the two of pentacles, it's all about, yeah, some sort of cycle, some sort of pattern that this person just keeps choosing to live. And they might think they don't have a choice because the devil card can be also about, um, you know, not having a choice, being obligated, feeling restricted as if you have to do something a particular way or think a particular way. But it's like, nah, you don't. You can choose not to think like that. The judgment card is also about a choice. You can choose. It's all about what you focus on. Especially with this four of cups here. It's all about what you focus on, right? You can focus on these boring ass cups in front of you. Yes. The ones that are making you miserable and making you feel bored. Or you can focus on the opportunities that are being granted. Seeing things for what they really are. Gifted divine opportunities here. Because you do have a lot of major arcana. Which means the divine is very heavily involved in this person's life. But it's like they refuse to uh, surrender to that. They want to be in control. They don't really believe that the vines got their back the way they that the, they say or maybe, you know, act like the divines got their back. So let's get some oracles for you for Gemini. If this is a romantic situation that you are dealing with, it looks like you're going to choose to be single from this person, though. It does. Some of you might be parents with this Empress energy, but very fertile, abundant, everything comes to me sort of energy. And they also could be stemming some some jealousy here they don't understand why you can just wake up and attract them they gotta struggle they gotta but that's their mindset that's what's keeping them in the struggle the fact that they believe they have to struggle religious factors yeah your what does it say your life your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual past i'd like to say it could literally be your spiritual upbringing but spirituality is just a belief right something we subscribe to mentally a belief that we subscribe to so whoever, whatever belief this person has on their self that they've subscribed to, this is what's keeping them in this shitty ass energy. Five of, five of um, pentacles, the devil card. It's keeping them captive. They won't even allow the wheel to turn because they keep choosing to stay in this sort of uh, mindset. But I guess change is, is possible here. Because with this judgment card, it does mean that there is still opportunity for this person to change their mind. They just have to make the decision. The opposite of the... Uh, not the opposite, but the uh, uh, other aspect to this devil card is the lover's card which is all about free will right the, the the lover's card is knowing that you can choose whatever you want the devil card is thinking you don't have a choice that you're preordained to a certain type of um reality which is definitely not the case so someone's self-belief needs to um change the way they see their self the things that they believe in subscribe to mentally emotionally spiritually needs to change this is what needs to be healed. I also get you're, you're probably not speaking to this person with the four of swords there. But it does seem like you're being divinely protected from this energy, from this person. This person could also be protected, but I do get more so you are being protected. You're kind of just minding your business and doing what you got to do on the sidelines. Maybe you're deliberately not letting this person know how good, good things are going for you because you're really fully aware that they got a little bit of, you know, Debbie Downer in them. That could be what the moon is about, kind of keeping your cards close to your chest. That's also in protection of your energy too. Confession. Someone has something to tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. 
Interesting. Another story that I was getting, though, this is not um, in regards to romance. It does seem like someone has lost you, but it's also their mindset that is keeping them in this. They have lost you due to their own, due to the way they perceive. It's like self-proclaimed prophecies, right? Whatever they've been thinking, they've actually met their, they've met that demise. Now, they could definitely be trying to um, make their way back around because there does seem to be a heavy attachment here. But I don't know. I am seeing you becoming single, going from the Empress to the Knight of Pentacles. If it's a job, you're leaving it. If it's a person, you don't want to be around them right now. You need a break. You kind of want to protect your energy is the vibe that I'm getting. But they are going to want to be in your energy because most likely you were um, giving them some sort of energy, right? Guidance, please, for Gemini. This person could be trying to ask you out on a the date. they got something to tell you. There's some sort of conversation here that wants to happen. But it does look like you're currently on a timeout with this person. Could be that they're going through this thing while you are on a timeout. That could also be the protection. The divine doesn't want you around while they're kind of going through this kind of mucky energy. They need to break this cycle. They need to um, exercise their free will in a different way this time. They need to make a final decision. You could have also gave them some sort of ultimatum too. Kind of getting an ultimatum a little bit with this judgment. And until then, it's like, until then, deuces. How at me when you know you've healed a little bit more. I'm not afflicted for this level of healing. <laughs> Your hard work is paying off. A new beginning is coming. These are way too much, but... I do get you are working on something. You are succeeding. And I do think you're keeping it secret from whoever this is. Because you know they are very miserable. So you kind of just, okay, I'm not going to really tell them. Because I don't want to, you know, put any bad vibes towards what I got going on. So I'm just going to work on what I got going on secretly. When this person gets out their funk, I'll see if they're um, able to get some good news. But it's like, you shouldn't have to be like that. That could also be why you need to just kind of separate yourself from someone right now. Shouldn't have to do that if it's a genuine person in your life. Hold on. Sacred beetle spirit. Life is speeding up. Take the lead and give with gratitude and grace. Yeah, this person is not um, grateful for what they already have. They're very much seeing the glass half empty here with this give with gratitude and grace turkey spirit. Sacred beetle magic works through you. You already know this. Excuse me. With this magic works through you, you already know that you are the magic. This person doesn't realize that they're the magic yet. They're very much looking for magic from the outside. That's why they can't keep it. They can't get a hold of it. Life is speeding up. I do get things are going good for you. And if they are, you might want to keep them a little bit secret. Because, you know, sometimes people don't even realize they're sending jealous intentions your way. And take the lead. It does seem like someone's going to take some sort of initiative here. It could be to, commu to communicate. Maybe want to go out for drinks and have a talk with this date night in confession. You, Yumera, where are you being called to journey to? Yeah, I think you're being um, guided to sort of give the, give someone space here. Let them fight their own battles. Let them fight their own demons. No pun intended with the devil card energy there. You got to let them figure it out themselves. That's the only way they're going to turn this wheel for themselves and turn this Nine of Cups upright. Okay, did I miss anything? One deck. Let's go. Guidance, please. Gemini. Let them do it. Take the lead. Let them do it. You got other things to do. You got your own eggs to fry. Bed, bread to break. Bake. One card for Gemini, please. Can't save everybody. We all account for ourselves. That's what the judgment is all about. We all have to account for ourselves. We cannot save anybody. Not even our children. They all account for themselves. That's why we judge no one. Let God do the judging, right? If you believe in that. Obviously, if you don't, then whatever you subscribe to. Okay, there's nothing from this deck for Gemini. I guess not. All right. That's your reading, Gemini. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.